Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. So this comes up all the time. Someone will come to me and they'll describe an issue and they'll say, well, I'm experiencing deadlocks. Okay, what's happening? Well, what's happening is, is that um, process A is grabbing resource X and it's holding on to it and process B can never get it, so it's deadlocked. No, that is a block. This is a classic, classic issue. It used to be my favorite, favorite interview question. My interview question was, can you tell me the difference between a block, B-L-O-C-K, and a deadlock, D-E-A-D-L-O-C-K? And I would very carefully enunciate the words. I would very carefully spell them out because I wanted it to be clear that I'm talking about two distinct things, a block and a deadlock, right? Two things. And I would always get an explanation of a block, and then I would get another explanation of a block. So let me tell you what the actual answer to this is. First, a block is when a resource is needed by two processes and one must wait on the other. That's a block. Done. A deadlock is when we have two processes, each is holding a process that the other needs. Process one has resource A and resource Z, or I'm sorry, resource A and needs resource Z. Process two has resource Z and needs resource A. Now these two I can't release Z until I get A. I can't release A until I get Z. They are in a deadlock because of that deadly embrace, okay? That is a deadlock situation. There's a process inside of SQL Server that monitors for deadlocks, and as soon as it sees that, hey, here are these two processes, they are intermingled in a way that they can never untangle, right? It's not like a block where it's like I'm waiting on this and as soon as it releases, I get to go. Uh, it doesn't matter how long that is. I, I can wait, right? It's all safely I can wait. If that's four hours, four days, four weeks, four months, or four years, I'll just wait until that releases and then I'll go. That's a block. The deadlock, they will never, ever, ever, ever release. The process inside a SQL Server identifies which of these things is going to be the easiest to roll back and then... Dun, 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 rolls back the easiest process because it has been chosen as a dun, 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 deadlock victim, okay? Now you know the answer to one of my favorite interview questions. Cool. <laughs> now, deadlocks are a big issue. They're a major performance problem, and um, we need to monitor for them and keep an eye on them and know how to observe what they are and figure out where the two resources are that are causing our deadlocks. Why are we getting a deadlock? Let's go look at this example of using SQL Monitor from Redgate Software to do deadlock, you know, to, to deal with deadlocks. So this is Management Studio. This is T-SQL. And I'm going to put together a deadlock for you guys right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to resource number one and we're going to run this query. And this is going to take a lock out. It's going to try to update some data, so it's going to take locks out on, on a query. And, and that's run successfully. It opened a transaction and, and got going. Now we're going to go over here to this other connection, a completely different connection, same database, and we're going to start another transaction. Now this transaction needs the resources of the transaction that, that we've already started. So you'll see it's executing and waiting. This is a block, right? This is being blocked. Now, Let's change and run a second command over here because we've still got an open transaction, right? We've got the begin tran. We haven't committed or rolled back. So this is still an open transaction. Let's execute another query. Now this is going to update different data and ta-da! This query was chosen as a deadlock victim. Um, rerun the transaction and you'll notice that this first query, uh, so I'm sorry, the second query over here has now completed and um, it's good to go. Now, just in order to maintain my data sets and stuff, let's just roll this back. 
that's not something you need to worry about normally. Normally that transaction completes and everything's happy, but I'm just doing that for, for demo purposes. So now what's gone on is if you take a look over here at SQL Monitor and we refresh to show that we're on the latest time, we received a deadlock. And so we can click on this and it will show us the alert. And so we can see what's going on and it's done a deadlock. You know, there's, um, let's take a look at the description. There's a deadlock raised, you know, let's see more information. And this tells us all about, you know, what happens for specific alerts and, and what they mean. Great. But really what we need to do is drill down on this thing to, to understand what's going on. So we can navigate the graph directly to when the alert occurred. And so it takes us to when that moment in time occurred, and we can see it here as well. We've got two alerts going on. We can add a note to the alert to mark off what this is, why it happened, all that kinds of fun stuff. We can go and configure the alert, or best of all, we can go to the full alert details. Let's take a look at that. And so now what we get is we start to see information. So we can see that there was the object that was taken exclusive lock on, and then the victim process, what lock it was attempting to take a lock on. And you'll notice that, you know, you can see which query was running and which query was running here. Each of these things can be drilled down on to get further information. And so we've got the information, um, the process that was done, the victim process, what types of locks, exactly which query fragments they were in. So you can track all of this down. You can go and look at some of the details so you can have the full deadlock graph if it's needed. So you've got all of the information available to the deadlock itself. Oops. Comments, if we've added comments, alert history, so the number of times this was, you know, uh, occurred. Um, we've had two occurrences today. And um, the full description of what deadlocks are, how to avoid them, and how to, how to deal with them. So everything you need to know to track down and fix this deadlock is immediately available right in front of you here um, with, with the information that we know that this is um, coming from this query, and the other is coming from this query, and we know how to track down these deadlocks now because we've got the stuff to deal with it. All right, so now you can see how to capture deadlocks, see what they are, get alerts on them, drill down on the details of them, and figure out what do we do to solve this thing. You've got all the information you need, and you know how to answer my favorite interview question. So... Great job. You're good to go. Thanks a lot. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.